So I'm gonna paint along up for a little bit and let you guys see kind of what I am doing here. I do still have books available. Had some people message me about my book. It is on Amazon. I do have books available. So thank you, by the way, for all the great um, Amazon reviews. If you're one of the people who reviewed them for me, I appreciate you. Okay, let's see what this guy's going to be teaching us today. This is exciting. All right. Got my reading glasses on. Let's see here. Oh, he's just loading the palette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, while we're waiting, I'll show you my plain air magazine mug. My reading glasses for small details, just in case. You never know. And um, talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on. Um, I started... Uh, volunteering at the Howell Nature Center. I'm in the process of getting my two-year federal um, raptor and bird wildlife rehabilitation certification. Um, so I'm going through all the steps and I'm also filming my video and um, there's some other exciting things happening but I'll wait to announce those until they come along just in case things tend to fall through. Um, Oh, I just did a beautiful commission for my friend, Mike Sargent. Here it is, it's all done. It was a photo he took of some swans. Coincidentally, I just rescued a baby swan. Isn't that funny? So this is his commission. This will be going back home to his family. It's almost dry. I also just did this commission of a friend's baby. So I thought this would be really cool to do a, a paint along so that you guys could watch an artist that is actually doing plein air live. Um, but I'm a little bit of a faster painter, I think, than... And this person online, this fabulous artiste. So it looks like he's in France. It looks like he's going to be painting this scene here. So I'll paint the scene. How about that? Multiple brushes. He's talking about the variety of brushes. So you want to paint transparent or real light see-through kind of first. Saying he asks himself, What are the big shapes first? So, the lightest ones, what is the darkest ones, is uh, what is the relation between the sky and the ground, the sky and the building. Uh, it's a special uh, scene because the sun is shining directly on the buildings. Uh, I'm really not a fan of this scene, actually. But I wasn't a fan of the icebergs either. I kind of thought they were fake looking. Or no, I'm the only person that would make a negative comment about something for Plain Air Magazine. I should be 
I should be grateful, right? So we're doing a simple drawing. So what he's got here are, he's talking about shapes. I just thought it would be fun to p paint along because yesterday I didn't paint along. Can you guys see okay? So it's very interesting for me because I have my own style and I very rarely trying to see uh, what was the difference. But that's how we grow. And so of things which I paint. Okay. The symbols of things in the painting would will create basically the angle and shape. He's talking the about angle and shape. Uh, I would almost really rather paint this myself, but the point is I'm trying to learn something new because you're always learning. So the picture is like this bridge and it goes into this little town. This is actually kind of a complex planar painting if you've never painted, so. Um, let me get the, this might make it easier for you too. There we go. And I'm just going to paint. I'm not going to talk a lot today. So basically, I'm trying to put different patches of paint next to each other, which will give me this uh, contrast, which creates the quality of the light in this painting. When I catch this relationship, I don't know, guys. Can start to spread uh, oh, I think I like. The way I paint a little better. So let's just use my own style here. I'm going to scrub everything in and draw it. So there's the river. Bank. So I'm in the process of actually looking for some new um, plein air brushes. 
My favorite brushes have discontinued themselves. These ones with the very cool black ferrule here. Yeah, can't get those anymore. Doesn't that suck? All right. So let's see. I'm going to try and use this guy's method. It's going to be difficult. But the whole point of learning is trying something new. So, okay. Oh, shit. Not my method, but let's do it. Let's do it anyway. So, he is putting some blue in the sky. was uh, oh I see what he's doing he's just suggesting things okay we can do this. You guys following along you, at home, you could do it too. Super easy. Just suggesting things. And he uses a lot of this dark color. Not sure why, but I'm sure he's going to tell us. Okay. So the first thing he did was this. Whoa, uh oh. Ugh, that's not good. That ever happened to you? Ugh, hate it when that happens. Okay, this is hard to do sitting down. I don't plain air paint sitting down. I hope it's okay if I stand here for a minute. Am I in your way? So this is an example of plain air live. You've got the um, plain air live on the TV here. Let me. Let me give you a little better example of how this is. So he kind of shows you what to do. And then you do it. Here we go. And what really show the character of the atmosphere is the color and the light. Oh boy, I already made a mess. Ah! Oh god. Now we have this pink, pinker house. Uh, look at that. Also going to grab a nice point. It is to have some paper towels. Always ready. Paper towel. He's saying have paper towels ready. Is your friend. Paper towel is your friend, he said. Open them. What do you see? 
Basically, he's saying, Monet said, paint what you see. Shapes, not things themselves. I think when you start to be able to do that, your painting will improve. And it's not just about... Um, you will learn it by painting, of course. This is how you learn it. But you will learn it also by working with yourself, with how you see things. And, and this can be achieved by looking at uh, paintings which you like. This is very, very useful. Going to museum, uh, looking how painters that you you like, how they solve some of the problems that you feel that you cannot solve yet. For example, Not really sure what this guy's doing uh, here, but they have problem with greens, you know. Uh, ask yourself which paint, which painter or paintings which paint green, which I, I, I like, you know. Okay. Look at shows which show their their work, you know, about this. And um, and learn from them, you know. This would be the, the best way to progress. Because if you don't do that, you might have a tendency to just repeat your own mistake over and over. That uh, if you find solution in advance, you know, well, they, they will help you faster. I'm finding that I'm more visual and I'm actually watching and I'm not listening. This is what museums are for. I cannot stress that enough. So right now, uh, I'm just covering the canvas, uh, describing a bit of those buildings, the slide which is happening. That's fun. And so far, this is what I call opening the canvas. When you open the canvas, he calls you this make opening the canvas. Mistakes. information on your canvas to judge it against and, uh, and when the canvas is open you can refix those areas if you open your canvas and you do everything right at the beginning it means that maybe you're using a formula because uh, it's impossible if you don't have if you don't use the net of a formula to be able to put the right color at the right place at the beginning because it's really about relationship. Again, I'm using this word. It is what will give this relation between colors. which I don't want to talk about, which is... Turn really it up so you can hear it, too. I really worked at it very much with uh, Russian painters. Is um, but, I mean, the French do it also, but it is seeing... It just happened like that for me. Seeing the color in the light. Try not to paint... Don't use mud to paint the, the shadow. So we're going to start to cover the whole canvas as, uh, as fast as we can, basically, just to give. Now we're doing the bridge, so it's great. So when you start to paint shape against shape, you ask yourself, is it lighter or darker to the next to the shape next to it when you start to adjust it like that and uh, step by step 
I'm trying to think more about the main color of it and especially the value of it. The color could be fixed, but the value will really give this uh, atmosphere. Uh oh. So this is your main goal to capture. Oh, that was fast. This sucker's cruising. Cool, cool, cool. Anybody know where that's from? This is totally not how I would paint this, so it's interesting to paint somebody okay, else's so way. Now when you start to do that, uh, you judge those areas. I recommend that at this point, even at this early point, you start to walk back. Walk back. And by say. walking back, you, will, you can see if the relation so, this gives you a really good idea. Of a step by step and what Plain Air Live. What? So, I don't want to do the whole video because this is property of Plain Air Magazine, Plain Air Live, uh, global Plain Air Paint Out. But um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this and show it to you when I'm done. And I'll catch up to everyone later. If you like my videos, hit like and subscribe, please. It's free. And I'm shooting for a 1,000. Have a great day. Thank you to my Patreon subscribers. Take care.